If you're a mid-level manager trying to balance the operational needs of the folks directly below you with the financial expectations of those above you, then this is the show for you. Today, we're talking to someone who's been where you are now. She's an executive at the Coca-Cola Company, a place I'm very familiar with, and we're going to be talking about how you can influence the decision makers around you. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Victor Barnes, Senior Vice President for Connected Planning at Anaplan. My path to corporate success is one few would have expected of someone like me. Although I have always believed in myself, I've often had to convince others to follow my lead. As a young man growing up in the housing projects on the south side of Chicago, I understood that I'd have to stand out to get out of my economic situation. Hence, the name of this show. Being a standout is what led me to enter Navy boot camp as an E nothing and graduate as an E3 after just six weeks, having earned meritorious advancement while still in training. Serving as a Navy reservist helped me become the first in my family to graduate college. And although I am the youngest of seven, my achievement inspired my siblings to do the same. My over 30 year career in finance includes professional stints at iconic American brands like PricewaterhouseCoopers, Disney, and most recently Coca-Cola, where I became the first African American to ever serve as a CFO in the company's flagship North America business unit. I tell you all this to let you know that I know about business and what it takes to stand out at big blue chip organizations with rich corporate legacies, which is why I'm now at Anaplan. I believe what we're doing now with Connected Planning is transformational. And I want to talk about what we're doing with industry insiders. Joining me for today's conversation is Sarah Park. She's Vice President of Integrated Planning at the Coca-Cola Company's North America Operating Unit. Sarah, thank you for agreeing to be my first guest. Thank you, Victor, for inviting me. I'm honored. So I was wondering if you could just double click a little bit on that daunting task that you were given to um, reimagine um, sales forecasting for the flagship business unit in the entire Coca-Cola company. It was 2016 when we were about to refranchise the U.S. bottling system. And uh, at the time, CCR, Coca-Cola Refreshments, was the biggest bottler in North America. And we owned about 80% of the U.S. volume and all of the sales forecasting as well as supply chain demand planning were done within CCR. Well, all of that was going to go away when we refranchised the entire territory to independent bottlers. So all of a sudden, North America Business Unit needed to take on that very important responsibility. And I knew that we needed to digitize the process very quickly because everybody was doing everything in Excel and Excel is just one version of truth on everybody's laptop. It is not connected to anything else and it is not automated. So it was a very scary and daunting task to build the entire thing from basically scratch. Sarah, we were early adopters to the Anaplan platform. Were there any particular things about the platform that made you believe that it was going to be the solution to some of the problems that you had experienced in your career as a supply chain professional? It was very clear to me that uh, what we are doing on the sales forecasting side eventually needed to connect to that demand planning side. I made a mark on my career by uh, connecting sales forecasting that rolled into our revenue planning with demand plan. I saw the potential of what Anna plan could do and what kind of capabilities we could build right off the bat. 
Describe for me a breakdown you might have without connected planning. So um, when you sell, that creates a demand and that demand then has to become a signal to operations and supply chain because without that demand signal, you cannot plan supply. So when something went wrong, it was very much, well, you didn't tell me that. Well, he didn't, they, they, what do you mean we don't have inventory? What do you mean we overship the forecast? What do you mean we have too much inventory and now we have to write it off? It was a lot of just disconnected finger pointing going all over the place. And so my um, point of view was very clear in that we need a tool that actually drives accountability. Tell me how Anaplan helps your team meet the demands of the people below them, but also the financial demands and expectations of the people above them. We call ourselves now end-to-end -end integrated planning because I have responsibilities from sales forecasting all the way down to inventory optimization and sourcing optimization in supply chain. And what I'm really excited about is for 2022, we are getting all of our demand signal from Anaplan. 2020 and 2021 have been extremely unusual years in our demand patterns. On top of that, we've been experiencing extreme constraints on raw materials and other supply chain um, needs. So we are constraining our demand because there's only limited amount of supply. So we are running our uh, business very much constrained by supply chain and our ability to meet that demand. So for 2021, we wanted to see, my God, if we could get everything we wanted on the supply chain end, how much can we grow? And we have never asked that question before. Wow. Or have we ever modeled that before? And what would that look like in um, inventory planning, warehousing needs, labor outlook, transportation outlook? What could that look like? And this year, we have been able to do that with full cooperation of all of our bottlers all in Anna plan. Thank you. Thank you so much. As always, Sarah, it is such a joy to connect with you. Now, if you want to learn more about what we're doing at Anna plan, visit our website, follow us on all our social media platforms, and be sure to join me as I talk to business leaders looking to stand out using connected planning.